Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. We are designing a complete one page website from scratch using uh, this Figma design that we have over here. So we have already completed the design of the header section and we have even added some animation. So let me just reload this page. So this is how our header section looks right now. Now let's go back to our Figma design and see what is the next section we need to design. So here we can see our client section is the next one we need to design. So let's get started. Now here we are in the HTML of our design. After the end of the hero section, let's go ahead and start with a new division with a class of brands section. And in that we'll have a heading 2 for our clients. So I'll type h2 and our clients and then we'll have a division called brands container to contain all these uh, logos of the brands. So let's type brands container and in this we'll add all the logos. So we'll type images slash Microsoft logo dot png and uh, we have five logos in total so let me just duplicate this four more times and the second one is google and then we have netflix unity and amazon so let's just type netflix logo unity logo and uh, amazon so that is basically it with the brand section so let's give a comment end of brand section and uh, let's go to our web page and see how it looks right now so here we have our brand section, we have the heading and all the logos over here. Now let's go to our style.css and uh, let's style this brand section. We'll add a comment. Now let's target the division with the class of brands section. So we'll type brands section over here. And uh, let's go to our Figma file and uh, let's select the rectangle. So this is the rectangle right here. And let's go to code and see whether we have any styles. And we can see that the background color is the light color that we have set as a variable in CSS. And then we have a box shadow and border radius. So let's copy these two lines of code. And we'll paste them over here. And for the background color, we'll just add the variable light color. And uh, let's see what is the padding we have. So let's... Uh, hover over this and we can see that we have a padding of 32 pixels on the top so let's give a padding of 32 pixels top and bottom and we'll just give a padding of 50 pixels left and right and if we hover over this we can see that we have a margin top of 100 pixels so we have a spacing of 100 pixels from the header to this brand section so let's add a margin top of 100 pixels so let's go back to our uh, web page and this is how it looks right now. Now let's go to the Figma file and see what is the height of these images. So let's double click over here and we can see that the height is 32 pixels. So first of all, let's set the height of the images to 32 pixels. So we'll type brands section, brands container, IMG and uh, we'll set a height of 32 pixels. So all our images have now a height of 32 pixels. Now we need to place all these images evenly spaced. So for that, let's go to brands section, brands container. And we'll set the display to flex and justify content to space between. And we can see now that everything is spaced correctly. We'll also center it horizontally. So we'll just type align items to center. All right, now we can style the heading. First of all, let's add some content below the brand section so that we can see it properly. So we'll just add a couple of heading tags. All right, now we can see the brand section properly. Now let's style the heading. So let's go to style.css and uh, we will type brands section h2 and uh, let's go over here to the figma file and uh, let's select this 
we can see that the font size is 32 pixels and the font family is Montserrat. So let's add them to our code. Font family Montserrat sans serif and font size of 32 pixels. And what else do we have? We have a margin bottom of 48 pixels. So we can see we have a spacing of 48 pixels between the logos and the heading and uh, the color is set to the dark color. So let's add those color var dark color and uh, margin bottom of 48 pixels. Now we'll also center it. So we'll type text align to center. Now the next thing we need to style is the underline that we have after the heading. So if you go to the Figma file, we can see that we have this underline after each heading and we have a width of 43 pixels and a height of 3 pixels. So for this we will use the after selector just like we used in the navigation. We can see for the active navigation we have used the after element and in this way we have added the underline for the navigation. So here we can see under about we have this underline. So in the same way we will add the after element for the brand section heading. So let's type brands section h2 colon colon after and content will be blank and we have width and height of 43 and 3 pixels. Now we want to position this underline relative to the heading. So here in the heading we can type position relative and uh, then here we can type position absolute and we'll set a background color of red and we can see the underline right here. Let's bring it down. So we'll set a top position of 40 pixels and uh, we will bring it to the left. So we will add a transform translate x to minus 43 pixels because we have a width of 43. So that's it with the brand section of our website. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.